Have you ever wondered how containers are loaded and how to place them on site? Then this video will be useful to you. Be sure to watch it to the end. And don't forget to subscribe and like. The first thing that comes to mind when we talk about containers is the giant piles of shipping containers in the port where they are endlessly sorted and loaded with special cranes. Additionally for these needs mind-blowing machines are used, such as rubber tire gantries and reach stuckers. Rubber tire gantries have wheels and are cranes that are able to fully straddle containers. Reach stuckers have a long arm that can easily be used to stack containers several row deep or to negotiate them onto semi-trailers and rail cars. No, we will not scare you with the prospect of looking for complex solutions for such a simple task as loading containers. Of course, the most common way to load containers is to use a crane. The container is hooked onto corner fittings that are standardized throughout the world and loaded onto a truck. However, we have great news for you. Containers manufactured by iPro Energy are equipped with reinforced openings on the lower edge that allow them to be loaded using a regular forklift. Agree that it is much more convenient and practical. The good news doesn't end there. To place a container on your site, you need a very simple solution. Railroad ties. Yes, we are not mistaken. This simple and inexpensive solution will work in most cases. Of course, if you are located in a place where flooding is possible, you need to take care to raise the container to a safe height, perhaps even build a concrete base. However, the height to which the container rises with the help of railroad ties is sufficient for the operation of the container under normal conditions. And of course, the best thanks for our useful and original content will be your subscription to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.